Bella. They are absolutely smashing it. Oh my goodness. You can't have that as the final day. Advent Addicts, this has got to be the most wanted makeup advent calendar every single year and I'm so excited that I have early access to the MAC advent calendar for 2020. It looks a little bit like a frisbee this year. Now, I have to say this, I'm not sure on the packaging this year because when I went to take my thumbnail, this is what happened. I do actually prefer last year's, however, this year's sounds like an absolute banger. This advent calendar was set you back 125 pounds, but the contents inside is worth over 300 pounds. Now this is an improvement on last year's advent calendar because I spent 129 pounds, but the contents inside was worth 265 pounds. So it's worth more money this year. Don't forget guys that I'm running a number of giveaways. So once I hit 220, 230 and 240,000 subscribers, I shall be giving away the advent calendars listed on screen. Also when I hit 100,000 followers on Instagram, I shall be giving away the much wanted cult beauty advent calendar, which is worth nearly a thousand pounds. To enter, all you gotta do is subscribe, turn on the notifications and go follow my Instagram link down below. Don't forget to get your Advent Addict sweaters. We have loads in stock now, so grab yours before they run out. Day number one. I like how they're wrapped nicely. Oh my goodness, for the first door, we have something red. Oh my gosh, what a great start. So this is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color, and it looks so so dreamy. This is in the colour feels so grand and it's like, it's like a little lip gloss, like a matte lip colour. I always love to pop a gloss on top of lip colours. Here I have the lip gloss by MAC on and it just gives like a really nice shiny finish. This is gorgeous. Day number two. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's not exactly gold, but it's rose gold and it's very sparkly. Here we have the Last Dance Dazzle Eyeshadow. This is gonna look absolutely dreamy combined with like a brown smoky look. I am obsessed. It's so pigmented. It's so glittery. Day number three. Is this gonna be lip gloss? Is it? No way. This is perfect for door number three. I mean, like I said, you can pop this on top of a lip color and it gives that really nice glossy glass look. Transforms any color. Day number four. So far, so good. Next up, we have the MAC Prep on Prime for the lip. What this is meant to do, it's basically meant to make the lipstick last longer on the lip and it also adds like a nice protection barrier. You could say it locks the moisture on the lip so they don't dry out. Day number five. Oh, what is this? Is it a mascara or is it a liquid eyeliner? Wow, it's a mascara. So this is in the shade black and my goodness, that wand? It's quite different. This one looks like it could add a lot of volume at the root of the lash. Day number six. I think it's gonna be another eyeshadow. It is! Okay, so here we've got the Amiga Matte Eyeshadow. This will be a really nice base color for the glittery rose gold color that we received earlier. I absolutely love using this kind of shade every single day. It is really such a good base color, especially if you wanna build darker color on top. Day number seven, we're coming to the outside of the boxes. A full size lipstick. Now that's what I'm talking about, MAC. Last year we didn't really get many full size lip products, so I'm so glad to see this so early on. So this is in the shade Devoted to Chili. That is hands down the nicest autumn color I have ever seen. This is beautiful. It's like an orangey cinnamon color. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be wearing this religiously over the next few months. This is, this is beautiful. They are absolutely smashing it so far. Door number eight. 
Next we have the strobe cream and this is in the color pink light. Now we actually got this in previous years. We always get like a strobe in the MAC advent calendar. Now this is definitely, I say it really doesn't have like a pink tone as such, maybe ever so slightly. It is definitely hydrating. You can definitely feel that on the back of the hand. I would probably wear this underneath makeup. Door number nine. I believe this is going to be another eyeshadow color. What do we have? This is a very pretty color. So this is I'm Into It Matte Eyeshadow. And it's like a purpley maroon color. This would look really, really good with the rose gold glitter that we got at the beginning. So you can definitely pair all three of these eye colors together. Door number 10. This feels like a huge product. Oh my God, is it another full size lipstick? It's not. However, here we've got the Fix Fix It Spray. Well, it's actually Fix Plus setting spray. So this is a skin refresher. It's really good to pop on top of makeup. Love it. It dries really quickly and it just gives like a really nice finish. Day number 11. Next up we've got lip gloss but it's in a beautiful gold color. Now this is in the shade Very Go Lightly. Now this is very interesting. Not only is it like a glass gloss finish but it's slightly sparkly. This would look gorgeous on top of that really nice autumn orangey cinnamon red color. Day number 12, halfway through. We have another eyeshadow and this is called Naked Lunch Frost Eyeshadow. This is very similar to the color that we got earlier. Hang on. Okay, admittedly this definitely has more of a pinker tone Whereas this one's more of like a beigey nude tone. Day number 13, another lipstick. So here we have a smaller one, which is fine. We have received a large one. And this is the Dubonnet, or Dubonnet. And this is the Amplified Cream Lipstick. Oh, the color. This is much more of like a deep maroon kind of color. I'm loving the variety of colors in this advent calendar. It's Christmassy. It's autumnal, it's, it's just beautiful, I love it. Door number 14, another lip gloss. Here we have like a nice pinky color. This would look really nice combined with that pinky eyeshadow. This one's definitely more of a colored lip gloss. Um, it is very different from the other two. A perfect, perfect shade for every single day. Door number 15. I think we've got another lipstick. Feels like it. It is. What color? Is it nude? Uh, it's a lighter color from the others, but like a nice everyday color. Maybe would have liked to seen a nuder color or pinker color, perhaps. We might still get it. Door number 16. We have more eyeshadow and here we've got the girly satin eyeshadow. Now this is definitely more of a darker pink tone. I reckon you can definitely build it up with the previous lighter pink tone. Door number 17. This is a big product. I need some of this. So here we have the MAC Brow Set Gel. I love getting this every single year. It's incredible. I really like brushed up brows right now and you definitely need a good brow gel to do this. Door number 18. We have another lipstick. Is it a lighter color? It isn't. This one's in the shade Russian Red. Uh, um, okay, I thought I'd never ever say this, but there started to be a lot of reddy, kind of orangey colors. Whilst I don't really mind, um, it would have been good to see maybe a nude color or a pinker color. But nevertheless, I bloody love these colors. That's just me anyway. Door number 19. Oh, okay, we do have a nude color for the lips. So this again is lip gloss and this is in the color Spice. Now this is definitely more of a nude color. It is slightly dark on application, but the finish is very glossy, very glassy. It is very nice. We haven't had a blusher or a bronzer next. I feel this calendar is missing it. Door number 20. Oh, pink. So this 
is in the shade all things magical and just look at it it's very magical this will look great with the eyeshadow i'm really happy to see this color i was starting to think that we wouldn't get it it's got a slight um glitz to it slightly shimmery this will look really good with the shimmery glittery eyeshadow that we got at the beginning as well door number 21 come on blusher i think we've got another lipstick we do so this is in the shade girl about town oh it's pink okay not the pink i was hoping for but this is a beautiful beautiful almost like a fuchsia fuchsia a fuchsia pink door number 22 wow this is a pretty pretty eyeshadow this is in the color ruddy felix pearl eyeshadow just look at that hello this is a color that i've never worn on the eye before but i'm very excited to give it a go the pigmentation is just out of this world so these little pots will last a very 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 long time day number 23 i think we might be on to our final lipstick and here we have got well it is a different color but it's more of like a, a maroon color brownie maroon this is in the color del rio and this is a satin lipstick now these satin lipsticks are definitely much more moisturizing on the lips for me the matte ones i find can dry out quicker that's why i like to wear the lip glass on top but the satin lipsticks are just so lovely and buttery on the lips so we have had a really good variety of matte and satin lipsticks and also of the lip glasses as well. Door number 24, the final day. Oh, what is it? It feels really different. Oh, <laughs> this is very disappointing. Oh no, guys. You can't have this as the final day. You can't have that as the final day. Okay, this is a little disappointing. We do have a MAC um, mirror. Oh no. Okay, that was a disappointing final door, I reckon. They maybe should have put like a nice bronzer, a nice blusher. We've had a lot of lipsticks. I don't think they should have put a lipstick or maybe like a small little palette. Not that mirror. There we go, guys. So that is everything inside the MAC Advent Calendar for 2020. And my earring just fell off. I actually thought that this was better than last year's just because personally, I would use every single product that we received. I reckon for next year, they should pop in a blusher, maybe a bronzer. Um, there was a lot of lipstick, um, which I'm not going to complain about because I do like the variety. However, I do reckon they should have put in some lighter colours, um, but they did reflect that in the lip glasses, to be fair. I reckon that this advent calendar would have got a strong 9 out of 10 if there was a blusher or bronzer inside. Currently, it stands at 8 out of 10. Still extremely good, and I definitely think it's 100% worth the money. Let's just work this out. Each door works out to be £5.21, which is very, very good for MAC. What did you make of this advert calendar? Please drop me a comment down below. Now, this goes live on Look Fantastic and MAC website on the 18th of October. I reckon like every single year, this is gonna completely, completely sell out. So I've left a link down in the description for you guys to use, but yeah, grab yours as soon as possible. But as always guys, please make sure that you link, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye.